What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? AJ Good here at the House of Masks, where we unbox and review cool stuff almost every single day, and it's the first video of the new year. Happy 2021 to everybody. Let's just hope that this year is better than 2020. So, of course, for the first video of 2021 on this channel, I wanted to start out by doing a 2021 goals. So we're just going to walk through and talk about some of my goals that I'm going to be setting for the channel, for myself, etc., for the year of 2021. We managed to go above and beyond the 2020 list and while I didn't meet necessarily all of the goals I hit a lot of big goals and even created some new ones through the year 2020 that I didn't even realize I wanted to obtain so I found it fun to kind of go back and recap the year of 2020 and look at that 2020 goals video and just kind of see what ones I hit what ones I haven't hit yet and I think that I'd like to make that a yearly thing on the channel now it's like setting goals at the beginning of the year and then looking back at the end of the year and just seeing what all we've accomplished so now let's go ahead and get on into today's video that is going to be the 2021 goals and my first goal is of course continued success with the house of masks last year was hands down the biggest year ever for my channel in more ways than one more ways than I can list even most notably the fact that we hit a hundred thousand subscribers I still cannot thank you guys enough for that and no matter how many times I say it it'll never feel like I'm getting the point across but thank you so so much just a giant milestone for me and it might not mean much to most people and honestly it's not even a zip on the ass of YouTube, but for people like me in this very niche hobby that we're in, it means more than the world to me. So thank you again. Thank you very, very much. Now, with that being said, would I love to see the channel continue growing in numbers? Absolutely. How crazy would it be if we hit 150,000 subscribers this year? Not saying we will, not even saying that that is a goal. Of course, I would love to hit 150,000 subscribers, but I'm just saying continued success with the numbers. We got a fucking building last year. Would love to see this place continue continue to expand and get nicer and nicer and more full of awesome pieces. I would like to take the channel to new heights in terms of the content I'm making. Last year I branched out and did a plethora of different styles of videos and I want that to continue. It keeps things fresh, it draws in different audiences, and just seems like an all around fun time that I'm able to connect all of these things that I'm interested in and all of these things that I love into one core piece on my channel. So whether it's a video about Silent Hill, whether it's a Slipknot conspiracy theory video, or whether it's the good old-fashioned mask unboxing that you guys are all used to we can pretty much do whatever we want here and I think that that's pretty cool so yes goal number one continued success with the house of masks goal number two is not really directly house of masks related but kind of goal number two is that I would like to see the good life become successful that is my second channel that I recently started a few weeks back if you guys have not checked that out make sure to go do so I will be dropping the link down below and that's essentially just the channel that I've kind of had in my head for a very, very long time and was never really able to make happen, but I finally feel that I'm at the point in my career where I'm able to branch out and maybe start to put together a team that helps me do that. This is the channel for everything AJ Good that isn't mask related. Yes, believe it or not, I am not just the mask guy. I love pretty much any type of automobile, everything from off-road trucks to motorcycles to rally cars. I like pranks and goofing off. I like skateboarding and BMX bicycles. Hell, I even like Pokemon. And that channel is going to give me the ability to bring all of my non-mask related stuff together on something that I like to call the good life. These will be short videos that just kind of document all of the other stuff that you would normally see in like an end of the montage on this channel. But instead of just making poorly shot out of context montages of cell phone clips, I'm actually able to have a filmer come out, document certain things that we're doing, and put it together into nicer formatted videos. So yes, I would love to see the good life take off. This is something that's been sitting in my brain for like six or seven years now. I have tried in the past, but it just wasn't the right time. So I'm hoping that 2021 is the right time. Goal number three is going to be to have a crazy awesome open house meet and greet here at the House of Masks next year during October. I just think that that would be so cool. And we really, really wanted to do it this year, but obviously certain stipulations with COVID would not allow that to happen. So I'm thinking that next year might be the move. Everybody's super curious about the building. Everybody wants to see the collection. It's been a long time since I've done a convention or a meet and greet or a show. So I think this would be a good chance to not only bring the community of Chillicothe in and let them see this thing that's been slowly but surely building and getting bigger and bigger in their community, but to also have all of my friends and fans out there that want to travel to come see the House of Masks. Since we got the building, the biggest question has been, are you going to open it to the public? Is it something that people can come pay and see? 
And the answer has always been no. I never got this building to do that. I always just needed a place to house my collection and shoot and edit videos. And that's exactly what this place is. So I never really planned on opening it up like a museum or anything like that, but you gotta give the people what they want. And I just feel like this is a nice way to kind of meet in the middle. So if all goes according to plan, we're gonna have a super dope open house, meet and greet, whatever you wanna call it, party, hangout thing here at the building sometime in October of 2021. I wanna have all kinds of cool shit going on. Maybe a band can play. I would really love to get a couple members of Guar here. I think that'd be really cool. I wanna do some giveaways. I wanna have like a photo op. I just think that it would be a really, really neat shindig. So hopefully that can happen. I would be really excited about that. So goal number three. All right, goal number four is to continue working with my favorite bands, brands, heroes, and idols. Now 2021 opened up a lot of doors in terms for collabing with people. I've done numerous things with Guar everything from live streams to videos to whatever else is in there that I can't really remember because there was actually a lot of stuff that I did with Guar that was super super cool and that kind of opened the door to other ventures I was sent stuff by Creature my favorite skateboard company I reached out to Fallen ended up doing some work with them they sent me some cool stuff I continued working with other favorite bands of mine such as Ghoul and I even got the hookup here recently with Liquid Death so I would love for all of that to continue and one of the only ways that that could be possible is if we as as the House of Masks community continue to show our worth. And I will say that you guys have been absolutely killing it. What is important to these companies, to these bands, to these people is that I show my worth as a content creator or an influencer. Your fucking influencer is an influencer. So when I tell you to go support these people that are supporting the channel, I mean it, and I would absolutely appreciate it if you guys kept it up. The most recent thing that we've been doing is the Liquid Death Death Peddler program, where I've been handing out discount codes to buy Liquid Death, and let me tell you guys, you absolutely destroyed it. I think in the course of two weeks, you guys purchased so much Liquid Death that I, I don't even know like how to explain it to you guys, but it was pretty fucking incredible. So if Liquid Death didn't think that the House of Masks was important before, I definitely think that they know now, and I think that that's pretty fucking awesome. So continue to support those companies, let them know that the House of Masks sent you, whether it's Liquid Death, whether it's Fallen, whether it's Creature, whether it's bands like Guar, or just celebrities in general. There's all kinds of people that you guys say, hey, you should collab with this person and I would absolutely love to but you guys have to make it known so if you want to see me shoot a video with James A. Janice over on the Dead Meat channel then let him know go over there and tell him that you want to see a video with the House of Masks with all that being said I absolutely appreciate the shit out of you guys doing all that anytime I give you a recommendation it seems like you guys hop all over it and I think that's pretty cool I would never ever work with a brand or a product that I do not like I have turned down dozens and dozens of projected contracts with companies especially over the last year because I just wasn't a fan of their product. In fact, the only one that I said yes to was the Ridge Wallet, and that is because I asked them to send me a wallet to see if I would like it before I promoted their brand to my audience. And they did just that, and they've been a pleasure to work with. So when I work with these brands, it's brands that I'm handpicking, brands that I'm very passionate about, and brands that I use in my everyday life, and I wouldn't push something on you guys that I don't fully support. Now I can honestly say that I am one of the only YouTubers that's ever going to do that. I could make a lot more money if I started working with garbage companies, but I don't want to do that. The only other YouTuber that I can think of that doesn't sell out in that aspect is probably Danny Duncan, and he's a huge inspiration of mine, so I guess that makes sense. All right, enough jibber-jabber about companies. Let's move on to the next goal of 2021. I want to do Mask Up V3 Masks, and this was an idea that I think kind of started in 2018 or maybe early 2019 and never came to because just, I mean, stuff happens. A lot of stuff happens, but I know exactly what artist I want to work with. We've already got a concept sketch, and when we can start to get those underway, I think that you guys are going to absolutely love them. So, Mask up v3s be on the lookout i'm hoping that that happens very very soon and the rest of these are just kind of like stuff that i would like to score stuff that i didn't quite get back in 2020 and future projects that i'd like to continue working on uh, one of those is the silent hill collection not only do i want to have a super super sick silent hill display but i also need pieces in the collection to fill up that display so not only do i aesthetically want to set up a really nice area to do a silent hill collection but i also need cool pieces so i think i'm going to be diving a little bit deeper into the figure world of Silent Hill. Gecko produces some insanely nice Silent Hill figures and I would like to get my hands on those. But I also want to do more life-size builds like a pyramid head, maybe another nurse, and then the actual display itself. I have a really cool idea for how I want all of that set up. So 
Silent Hill display would be cool. I also didn't get my stage used Batushka robe last year, and that's something that I really, 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 really want. So I'm hoping that in 2021 I can make that happen. I do have a friend in Batushka, and he does want to donate his robe to the House of Masks as a museum piece. So I'd really, really like to make that happen. I think about that robe like once a day still. And I think that I said the same thing in the 2020 goals video. So another big score that I'm looking forward to is a stage used Batushka robe, mask, and cowl. I am currently working on something and I would love to lock that down. And uh, yeah, here's to that. That's a big one. I've been thinking about that suit nonstop. Would definitely love to get my hands on that stage used Batushka robe. Everything else is pretty basic. Obviously, I want to continue the Slipknot display. We got to add some more shelves. We're going to fill those up. That's always going to be growing. Would love to continue collecting Guar stuff, whether it's stage used or straight from carotid artistry. Obviously, I want all of those collections to continue growing whether it's Guar, Slipknot, Buckethead, Michael Myers, etc. I always want those to continue growing and getting bigger and better. And then I'd say probably my last goal is to make a legit rally car out of the Subaru Justy I just got. That's something that I've been kind of obsessed with lately. So I think with Doug's help, and by help, I mean me standing around while he does all the work because he's the man, I think that we can make it into a pretty zippy, fun little car. So I think that's pretty much it for me. I hope that everybody else out there has some goals that they would like to achieve. But remember, you have to put in the work, but I believe in all of you guys, and if I can make my life happen the way that it's happening, then I fully believe that you guys can do whatever you want, and I hope that that means something to you. So yeah, I wish all of you guys success. Please drop your goals down in the comments. I'm very curious to hear, like, maybe a top three goals that you guys would like to accomplish. Uh in the year of 2021. If you guys would also like to drop what you would like to see out of the House of Masks in 2021, I'd be very curious to hear that as well. And yeah, I think that is going to just about do it for this video. So I hope that you guys have enjoyed watching. Thank you very, very much for the continued support. I know that it's cliche and corny and I'm doing the typical YouTuber thing, but I really don't feel like I'll ever be able to thank you guys enough for what you guys have given me. So yeah, let's go ahead and wrap this one up, get this one over with, and we will be back into mask unboxings tomorrow. Oh yeah, I forgot about my most important goal. So my main goal is to blow up and then act like I don't know nobody. <laughs>